Have you ever wondered uh, what torque these studs can take before they actually shear or before everything breaks? Well, <coughs> I've been wondering that as well. Hi folks, I'm Roger from Hofgrid Van Life and uh, in this episode I'm going to be uh, stressing these two studs here until they actually break. Uh, this cell arrived uh, upside down, so the, uh, our, our partner in China shipped it the correct way or labeled the, the box the correct way but somewhere along the line the shipping company turned it upside down and it probably s went across the the whole of the journey upside down and eventually a little bit of uh, stuff leaked out here the um, lithium and phosphate and what have you um, and the whole thing was incredibly uh, a very sweet smell and, and very sticky so this has been sat in the barn for quite some time um, it's lost most of its charge. I checked with the multimeter. It can't even get a constant reading. It's about one point something volts. These are meant to be 3.2 nominal. So it's pretty much dead. Uh, I, and uh, one of the things, as I said, I always wanted to know is uh, at which point will these actually break? Now, obviously, each um, manufacturer uh, welds these uh, studs on in a different way. And so this isn't representative of all of the cells that would have studs um, welded on and in fact it's not really a valid uh, scientific experiment because I'm only going to do it on two of these terminals on the cell and um, <clears throat> so but that'll give me an indication I just want to I want to know roughly so we're talking these things down to uh, 8 or 10 between 8 and 10 newton meters uh, we don't ever exceed 10 newton meters but if it if it's a very high current draw so for example one person uh, wanted to run uh, off a 12 volt system about 2.2 uh, kilowatts so we uh, tightened these up to 10 newton meters and uh, they were fine but I want to actually really push them so I've got a little torque wrench here it's a I think it's a giant if you can read that um, it's a motorcycle torque wrench uh, and I want to try with this what, what I'm going to do is wind it up and this goes up to 24 newton meters so I'm pretty sure these things are going to shear or break well before then um, let's get some safety stuff on and I'm going to use if I can pick them up with these gloves now a standard 10 mil uh, flanged nut uh, I'll also use um, a little washer and this is something that you wouldn't normally do when you put them on I'm going to actually put some WD-40 onto this because I I don't want it to be sort of measuring the resistance I want it to turn really really easily because I want to see when this thing actually really breaks off and I'm not sure where it's going to break off so let's see a bit of WD-40 and then I'm going to put this um, bus bar on the top here put a washer on and then put the first nut right oh yeah and let's tighten the vice up to stop this thing moving right this thing is now set at 8 newton meters which is what we normally torque it to so I'm just basically click I'm just going to go up in increments of 2 newton meters Let's go to 10 newton meters. I'm expecting it to be absolutely fine. Let's go up to 12, 12 newton meters. Let's see. Twelve is good. To about 13 newton meters, halfway between 12 and 14. I can see lots of stuff turning there now. 14 newton meters. And I'd go halfway to 16 to 15 newton meters. Okay. 
the actual socket is jumping off there. Not sure what's happening with the torque wrench because it's not clicking anymore. Really not sure what's happening because it's got to wind back to 14. It should click really easily. There we are. A bit more. Up, that's up to 16 now. And what are we going to? 17. Seventeen, yeah, clicked. Eighteen. It's going soft. Eighteen. It actually clicked in, but it feels like it's going soft. Let's go halfway to nineteen. Uh, 19 and it's still it, it feels like it's going soft in there wow 20 <laughs> I wasn't expecting that I really wasn't because these are stainless steel nuts and uh, but who knows what's actually happening inside there so we're up to 21 newton meters this thing has to break at some stage really not a good socket on that there I might change it over to something better it's struggling to get a good grip on these things Twenty one, it was fine. Let's go to twenty two. There we are. It's sheared at twenty two Newton meters. You can see the actual stud itself shared that tells me some interesting stuff uh, firstly it tells me that um, these are welded so you can see the detail let me find something that I can point with there's a, a screw no, you probably use this camera to point with so you can see here's the terminal with this little collar that is um, welded on and the stud sits inside this here and that has taken a remarkable 22 newton meters so we're going up to 10 newton meters and so far that's can easily accommodate 22 so let's see now let's take this next one and again i'm going to wd-40 it just so that we are measuring entirely the torque and not the resistance of the thread or anything it's actually messed up the uh, the bus bar it's, it's the, these bus bars are actually copper that are coated with um, something not sure what they're coated with solder of sorts and uh, that's to prevent the corrosion because copper corro corrodes quite quickly Right, the second. We started all the way from eight, but I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna wind this back down. So you can see the set at 22. 
I'm going to wind this all the way back down to I guess about start at 12 there we are that's at 12 and it should reach that easily 12 going to 14 going on to 16 going on to 18 going on to let's take it in increments of one now 19 okay 19 20 saying it's really not the best socket sure 20 just doesn't want to kick in Come back to 19, go up a bit more to 20, there we are, 21, it's busy, it's going a bit soft now, yeah I'm pretty sure it's, let's see it again. And in exactly the same way, they both shared, so this shared a 22, 21 newton meters, and in exactly the same way. That is, uh, that is very interesting for me anyway. I don't know what about you guys. So we torque these to eight normally, 10 sometimes, but we've just taken it up to 22, and 21 and uh, that tells me quite a lot that I'm, I'm quite amazed at the talk that you can bring these to uh, in the past with um, some of the others with, with the we use little grub screws that go in uh, we've actually uh, stripped them out at about six seven newton meters even you can never go up to eight with those so these ones I'm really impressed with these studs that's quite remarkable how it allowed us to go to such a high torque and my understanding is that these studs that are welded in here are stainless steel uh, the nut this nut is a stainless it's all fused to here now interestingly this nut is a stainless steel nut and uh, I thought stainless couldn't go to such a high torque to be honest I thought stainless would only manage to about 14 15 that was just what I would have uh, sort of read about it so the fact that the stainless nuts and the stainless um, stud went to over 20 newton meters is quite remarkable what we don't know is how much um, twisting was actually occurring before then so you know that I'd, this is a very rough rough test but it gives me a, a pretty good indication of what we could go up to so that tells me if we were in a really high current situation, I would happily talk these down to 12 newton meters uh, to cope with the the, um, the the amperage that goes through. And we've we've done tests where we've uh, really hammered these, you know, single terminals up to sort of 2.2 kilowatts, and um, you know, so we've gone uh, pretty much 200 amps, full 200 amps on these, and uh, they've coped remarkably well. Uh, temperature increase wise um, the cables got hotter than the terminals to be honest so I'm very impressed with these uh, welded studs so folks hope you found that useful and uh, remember to subscribe and hit the bell button thanks so much cheers so here's a nice close-up of the uh, sheared stud now you can see the other one very similar so they're both shared in almost exactly the same way interesting <laughs>